Okay, well, I did some more work on this uh, project that's using one of these pendulum clock movements uh, drivers. And the experiments I did with it showed that it worked all the way down to 0.6 volts at 5 microamps. And then it works all the way up to 2.5 volts at 500 microamps. Now, I did a video yesterday um, in the afternoon and then... Um, set it up on a shelf and the thing ran 12 hours and so this morning um, I decided I put a solar panel on it and I'm gonna put a shocky diode it's a low uh, low dropping diode and then go right into that super cap which is a 2.73 farad super cap and uh, just make this non-stop spinner 24 7 no battery and this is the setup right here. You're going to need a 2 volt, at least 100 milliamps. There's the dimensions. Low light sensitive. Now in low light, this will charge the super cap when it's low. And bring it up to about a volt and a half or so. And then it'll run most of the night. Maybe all night, depending on how much it gets in it. But the thing about this that was different than most of the stuff I have built was it self-starts. And that's the thing about this that made this a valuable project was the fact that it self-starts. Wait a minute here. It should go. There it goes. It's going to rock back and forth, and then all of a sudden it's going to start up. Now, my other projects really don't do this. Now, some of the solar waiver projects do that, but none of my bigger projects really had that feature. So, especially not with a bearing system like this. This is a regular uh, a steel, um, hardened steel uh, on a needle bearing at the bottom and then just a hole through plastic at the top. And in all my motors that are like that, unless they're suspended from a magnet or they use the magnetic suspension, there's not enough power to start them up. Um, this one does that. So anyway, this is the, the whole enchilada right there, the basic thing. This is the key to it. And uh, you go on eBay and you put in the search bar, pendulum clock movement. And they're about $8 if you shop around them. They come with the whole drive for the clock and everything. And you just take the pendulum drive part out of the, the clock movement. Now, there are drive units I've seen that are not the same circuit as that. You have to start them by pushing the pendulum. You don't want that one. You want one that's got the uh, two capacitors, the center tapped uh, coil uh, and the, the one that's in one of these uh, drive units but anyway that's the latest with this uh, project anyway I, I kind of finished it up today and like I say there's the the way it looks and that's the neat little project thanks for watching